If you see value in liberating information and educational materials, open educational resources and open access to research are paths to achieve that. The goal of open education is to help everyone access free and effective teaching and learning materials at almost no cost or for free. Creating open educational resources means creating content that is licensed for free public use and reuse, providing digital copies for easy distribution, and publishing online for widespread access. In this video, I'll discuss how to create open educational resources and their link with open access publishing. Open educational resources are those teaching, research, and learning materials that reside in the public domain or are released under an open license that permits free access, allows use, adaptation, and redistribution by others. David Wiley set out the five characteristics of materials that are truly open educational materials in the way that they give permissions. For instance, the retain permission allows users to make, own, and copy the content. This includes the ability to store the content. Reuse permission. Permission to share content in any learning environment. The revise permission. Permission to adapt, modify, or alter the content, for instance, translating a text. Remix permission. Permission to combine the materials with other materials to make something new from it. And finally, the redistribution permission. Permission to share copies of the original content and your revisions to the content or your remixed content. The CC licenses that are best suited to these aims are CC BY, CC BY SA, CC BY NC, and CC BY NC SA. Sometimes educators assemble these materials together, and when open educational resources are assembled together in a textbook format, it's called an open textbook. To see examples of open textbooks, visit the Open Textbook Library. Using free textbooks makes a big difference in reducing the costs of education for students. By creating free textbooks through collecting, revising, and remixing open and free learning materials, teachers can transform their own time and expertise into a sustainable learning resource for people worldwide. How do open educational resources connect to open access? A majority of the published scholarly articles you would use to assemble an open textbook would be research and writings made available under open access. A publication is considered open access if it is in a digital format, available online free of charge, and it is free from most copyright or licensing restrictions. Unlike other publications, open access works do not sit behind a paywall or prevent you from copying and redistributing the work as you see fit. The Directory of Open Access Journals is an online resource that indexes open access journals that you can consult directly. Why is open access important for faculty and students? The trend toward expanding access to research and results through open access and open educational resources is part of a global movement to democratize knowledge, the open science movement aims to make scientific research more widely accessible and reflects the same public-spirited goals as Creative Commons licenses, open educational resources, and open access. Faculty and researchers naturally want as many people as possible to be able to read, use, and cite their works. The open access framework allows for this in ways that a publisher with a paywall simply cannot. In the classroom setting, Teachers who use open access materials and other CC licensed works can copy and share large sections of content, even entire books, without fear of a copyright infringement suit being filed against them or incurring costs to access information behind a paywall. For university students, if the required reading and course materials are comprised of open access articles and open educational materials, it means students don't have to incur out-of-pocket expenses to obtain the course material or wait for physical copies to be made available at the library. For younger students, the use of open educational materials in the classroom can reduce costs of purchasing textbooks under copyright for the school districts. In this video, I've discussed the benefits of open educational resources and open access publishing. For more information, visit creativecommons.org.